so much to announce. Today we have a really exclusive access. It's a unit that many people have heard of or seen videos of, but a few have witnessed in real life. They operate a system that has changed the course of war in Ukraine at some point, and they continue to destroy targets on a strategic level. It's M142 HIMARS. Let's see how their work has changed after a year and a half of full-scale war. I've been on HIMARS from the very beginning, since May 22. What has changed? This is war, and we take into account the enemy's tactics and how the enemy adapts. Right now, we simply cannot reach them, which means we need more long-range missiles. What kind of missiles? Attackums. That's it. <laughs> Ukraine has been requesting more attackum systems that extend the reach of HIMARS up to 300 kilometers for a while now. A limited amount with the 165 kilometers range provided by the US proved its worst, hitting a military airfield in temporary occupied Bryansk with the first shot. But the reason Russia has moved its logistical and command centers over 70 kilometers from the front line are GMLRS, which are currently deployed on this HIMARS. They made a great contribution to the Kharkiv and Kherson counteroffensives in 2022 and have remained the most effective weapons on the battlefield since. Just imagine what their target hit rate might be. We only count the missiles we have launched. As of now, we have fired more than 3,000. We know that there will always be a result because we work with precision. <laughs> 3,000 missiles, and yet most of the time they are on the move and not shooting. The Ukrainian frontline is larger than these systems can cover, so their task is to be prepared to work anytime, anywhere. Now, what qualifies as a worthy target for HIMARS? As mentioned, it could range from an airfield to a dugout with a machine gun that poses a threat to the infantry. It's crucial to know that the target must be confirmed by at least two of the following from the ground, sky or satellite reconnaissance. Although the Russian media stayed different uh, from all the systems that were delivered to Ukraine, none have been destroyed, zero. And all that thanks to its high mobility. The enemy artillery just incapable to catch it in time. How does it feel to realize that you're a very expensive target? I could say it's pretty cool. Even cooler when you realize that they can't do anything to you. Since we work via a strict protocol that can change at any time. In other words, we are not a standard unit. They are Soviet, standardized. Everything we strive not to be. Make no mistake, the risk is still there. The enemy is always hunting for these systems, both on the front line and within Ukrainian controlled territories. Generally, no pictures or videos of the systems are allowed. HIMARS units move in secrecy, and a separate unit is assigned to guard them. Once the systems arrived in Ukraine, we took the unit under our protection, and since then, every day, 24-7, we have been with them. It's crucial to protect them because we have very few, and God forbid, if we lose one of these vehicles, it will have a significant impact. Indeed, despite being too few, these systems have already become an integral part of Ukrainian artillery. While serving as a tool of destruction, they are also a symbol of support. But most importantly, one GMLRS keeps the spirits of Ukrainian infantry high all week. The biggest gratitude comes from our brothers in arms. The army is vast, but everyone communicates and has friends and relatives in the military. The best thing is when you get a call that says, guys, you've done a great job. Thank you. 